In our previous tutorial, we created the image rotating carousel. And in this tutorial, we're going to create some ways for us to navigate through that carousel. At the moment, it's entirely up to jQuery to push us through that carousel. So we're going to add some left and right buttons. And the place to add this is currently in the document line 80, which is just before the final div tag closing off this section of the carousel. So you should see under there the carousel end comment. So just inside here, we're going to add a couple of links. So we're adding left, which will float it to the left, and carousel control, which we will use for both the carousel controllers. For the link, we're going to link to my carousel, which is the ID that we call the entire section. We hold some information on a data component that's telling us that this is going to the previous section. Now inside here, I'm going to add a glyph icon. So I've just added a glyph icon that's an arrow to the left, and this will give us the control that we need, which in this case will open up the previous slide. I'm going to copy that line and paste it in here. And then I can just change one or two elements. So where it was left, we want it to be right. And instead of previous, we want it to be next. So let's save that and take a look at that. And now we can see inside we've got fully working left and right arrows that take us through our images in the carousel. And even when we go down to a small screen, it still works fine. I've just navigated to the main bootstrap site and on the main bootstrap site, they have some examples. And one of the examples on there is an image carousel. Now I wanted to show you this because if we click on the menu on a small screen, as the menu scrolls down, it pushes down the carousel. And so this is one of their examples. And if we just compare that to the example that we've created, when we click on ours, it doesn't do that. So I don't particularly think that this is the right way for it to work for it to push down the rest of your page content. And so we've amended ours and made ours slightly better. So let's head back into the code now. And this time we're going to add some carousel indicators. So they're gonna tell us how many slides there are and which slide we happen to be on. So for this one, it's quite easy to find where we're going. We just need the very first opening div tag for the carousel. And inside there, we're just gonna create for ourselves an ordered list. Once we've created the ordered list, we've given it the class carousel indicators. So this will tell Bootstrap exactly how to style these things up. And now we're going to add several list elements that are going to go inside here and they're going to indicate which carousel we're on. So we've added the first list element as previously. The one that we're currently using gets the class active and these can be clicked on. So they've got a data target of my carousel and which slide that they would then link onto. So this is a zero slide, the first one. Computers always start counting from zero. Can add in the second one. And this one is quite simple because we just need to get rid of the class and change the slide to one. And we've only got three slides. So let's go ahead and add each one of those. And we can save that. Pop back out again to our browser. And at the bottom down here, we've got the buttons that will also take us to the specific slides. And again, if we move that down to a small screen, we can see them. So that wraps up the carousel indicators.